Hardik Pandya will be kicking off his full-time T20 captaincy tenure against Sri Lanka as the Indian T20 team prepares to start its life beyond Virat Kohli, Uhit Sharma and KL Rahul. Though the shortest format is not the priority for Indian team this year, but the three-match series will allow Hardik to start planning his future, specifically for the T20 World Cup in 2024. Rishabh Pant, who suffered a horrific car crash last week, was anyway not picked up for the Sri Lanka series. This has made Kishan and Rituraj's opening combination most likely for the first T20 at the high-scoring Wankhede Stadium. Shubman Gill, who's yet to make his T20 debut, is another opening option for Hathi. At number 3, the skipper will rely on the brilliance of world's number one batter, Surya Kumar Yadav. With Hathi keen to have a sixth bowling option, Deepa Kuda could be a likely starter. The management will have to choose between Sanju Samson and uncapped Rahul Tripathi for the one spot in the middle order. Tripathi could continue warming the bench on account of Samson's experience. Though uncapped Shivam Mavi and Mukesh Kumar have been included in the squad, the likely pace bowling trio will be of Varshdeep Singh, Harshal Patel and Umran Malik. India could also pack in more all-rounders in the team with the option of Washington, Sundar and Aksar Patel, with specialist spinner Rizvendra Chahal expected to play. Reigning Asia Cup champions Sri Lanka will be no pushover for Indian even in their own turf. Sri Lanka have rewarded the star performance of, of the Lanka Premier League, Ashwika Fernando and Chamika Karuna Ratne and Sadira Samara Vikrama by including them in the team for the India series. All three will be looking to make huge impact with Banuka Rajapaksha as their key batter in the middle order.